What's up everyone, Alex here. Are you having a tough time earning money in Tales of Arise? I've found that selling the fish obtained from fishing is one of the more lucrative ways of making money in the game, and in this video, I want to take the time to teach you how it actually works. Fishing is unlocked via the main story shortly after you depart Menencia, but when you finally do, it's well worth spending some time in. This video is chapter marked for your convenience, and all the button prompts featured will be for the PlayStation. But first, we can't fish without the appropriate attire. So let me just put it on, and there, now we're ready. The first thing you'll need to remember is Talca Pond Road, as you'll come back to this location to show off the various fish you've caught to the fishing expert, who will reward you with new rods and lures at regular intervals. An easy way to remember this location is that it's the only area in the game with the word pond in it. So if there's one thing you'll need to remember, it's the word pond. Fishing itself is an interesting and straightforward affair. I invite you all to fish along with me as you go through this video. I'm at Talca Pond Road, by the way. For starters, I highly recommend that you go and select your rod and lure prior to casting your line. Naturally, if you're just starting out, you'll only have one rod and lure to use. However, when this menu pops up, you'll also notice a list of fish on the lower right corner of the screen, as well as specific button prompts. Each fishing location will have a different list of fish alongside specific button prompts, and you'll need to remember these to catch specific fish. Once you're ready, you'll see a circular reticle above the water, signifying where you'll cast your line. In theory, you can cast your line anywhere, but I generally recommend only doing so when the color of your reticle changes. The reticle changes color every time you hover over a portion of the water that's either bubbling or has had a fish jump out of the water, causing a ripple animation on the surface. Cast your line in the area where the reticle's color changes. Once you've cast your line, an interface will pop up where you'll find a group of fish on the right and a circle on the left. When you press either square, triangle, or X, you'll start to see a ring continuously shrink inside of the circle. It's during this time that you will alternately press the two buttons corresponding to the fish you want to catch. For example, if you want to catch a pond tilapia, you'll have to alternately press X, then triangle, to attract the fish. In other words, you're essentially pressing these buttons to attract the fish towards you. Once the fish bites the lure, press R2 to reel them in. Time for battle. The fish you're trying to catch will show a life bar right above them and you'll be attempting to reel them in while maintaining the strength of your fishing line. There are two different sets of prompts that you'll need to look out for during battle. When you see double arrows pointed either to the left or to the right of the fishing rod icon, you'll need to hold the left analog stick towards the corresponding direction. Simple as that. On occasion, however, the fish will try to juke you by behaving erratically, forcing you to press either L1, R1, or R2. You can find out which of these buttons you're about to press simply by watching how the fish behaves. If the fish darts left or right, you press L1 or R1 respectively. And if the fish jumps out of the water, you press R2. Once you've depleted the fish's life bar, you'll have conquered the fish and will be adding it as a new entry into your fishing guide. Congratulations on the first of many catches. Now, let's sit down and talk about rods and lures. For the first several hours of fishing, you can certainly make do with your first rod and lure, but I think it's important to understand why each is important. Rods determine the amount of damage you'll inflict on fish during battle, so the rarer the rod, the more powerful its attacks will be. On the other hand, lures only matter when trying to attract fish. Each lure will tell you what kind of fish it can attract easily, and once you equip a lure and attract the fish specific to said lure, you'll notice that each button press attracts that fish faster. This is especially helpful when trying to attract a specific kind of fish, as later locations will have at least two fish sharing the same button prompts. One last piece of advice. If you're ever lost and you don't know where to fish, always come back to Talca Pond Road and talk to the fishing expert and show him your notes. He'll not only tell you how many more fish you'll need to receive a prize from him, but he'll also identify which areas you might want to fish in. It's extremely helpful, especially if you've caught a whole lot of fish already and you only really need one or two different fish from each location. Alright, that's a lot of info, but I'm hoping that I've shared a few nuggets of information in there for folks who want to up their fishing game. 
If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Your enjoyment of Tales of Arise is important to me, and if there's any way that I can help you understand how fishing works, I'll be glad to reply and help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.